In today's machine learning class, we will see the data quality and remediation. First, let us see what is data quality. If there is any compromise in data quality and we will move to data remediation. When come to data remediation, there are two types. First one is handling outliers and second one is handling missing values. Okay, when come to handling missing values, again three types are there. First one is eliminate the record who is having missing values and imputing the missing values and estimating the missing values. Okay, so these are the topics we will see in today's class. Let us see all those things one by one. First, let us see data quality. So data which has right quality helps to achieve better prediction accuracy in the case of supervised learning. So in the case of supervised learning, we need to train the model by using the training data. Okay, training data. So this data, uh, quality should be very high. If there is any problem in this data, then the output of this model will not be perfect. Okay, this is model. Right? So, when in realistic, the quality of data will not be perfect. Okay, there are two types of problem for collecting this data. First one is certain data element without a value, which is called as missing value. Suppose we are collecting the student data. Some students are not willing to say their age. Okay, in such situation, we will get missing value. Okay, a student means college student. Right, when come to second one is the data element having different from other elements. Okay, which are called as outliers. Okay, so here the student age that should be between 20 to 24 if it is a college student, isn't it? So, suppose instead of 20 to 24, if the age is only 4, while typing 2 may be missed out. Okay, the, if the age is only 4, this is called as outlier. If the age is, uh, for example, 42, then this is called as outlier because the college student value may not be 42 or may not be 4, right? So, those are wrong values. Those are wrong values, okay? Here, there are multiple factors which leads to data quality issue, data quality issue, right? The first one is incorrect sample set selection. So, in the entire population, we need to select a sample, isn't it for training our model? So this incorrect sample set selection will leads the issue in quality. And second one is error in data collection. So while collecting the data, we may made some mistakes. Okay. So these are the quality issues of data. In the data quality issues, first we will see the incorrect sample set selection. Okay. So the data may not reflect normal or regular quality due to incorrect selection of sample set. Okay, for this we will see two examples. First one is let us take the sales transaction example. Here, the sample may be taken during festival period. So, during festival period, the sales will be always very high, isn't it? So, if we take sample in this period, uh, during the normal time, the sample will, that is the sales will not be very high, isn't it? So, this is called as the sample is selected during wrong time, right? <clears throat> and second example, predicting the poll result, that is the election result, predicting election result. Suppose in this election result uh, prediction, we have to select the people from all the population, sample taken from all the population, that is a right mix of voters from different segments should be there, such as age, that is all age group of people, both male and female, and the ethnic diversities. Okay, all community people also have to be considered for taking samples. Otherwise, it is called as incorrect samples. That is, we cannot predict the exact result of uh, the election, right? So, this is the second example. And next issue is, if sample size is very small, if the size of sample is very small, here also uh, the problem will be there. That is, the small size sample will not be able to capture all aspects or all information 
which are needed for learning the model. Suppose if the population size is very high and sample, if it is very small set of sample means it cannot predict all the required information from the entire popular population, isn't it? So small size sample is also an important issue here. And next let us see errors in data collection. The first one is outliers. Outliers means the data extremely different from uh, the normal values, different values, okay, the different values are called as outliers, okay, in many cases, the person or group of persons are responsible for the collection of data to be used for learning activities, okay, so for collecting the data, many people may be involved, right, training data, because training data should be uh, very correct data and this is a manual process. There is possibility of wrongly recording the data. Wrongly recording the data. So in terms of values 20.67. So if we want to type 20.67 instead of this they may type 206.7 or 2.067. So these two values are extremely different from these values. Right. So this is called as outliers. If 206.7 or 2.067, both are called as outliers, error data. Okay. So, the data element which have abnormally high or abnormally low from other elements which are called as outliers. As I already told you, age, when come to age, if age is 4, this is outlier. If age is 42, this is also outliers. Right. The second error in data collection is missing. Okay. So many people here also involved for collecting the data. Uh, here some data may not be recorded. Okay. In case of uh, the survey, some people may not respond for certain questions. For example, uh, in forthcoming election, which party you are going to vote? Okay. Many people will not ready to answer for this question. Hence, those records, that is, wrote, those values will be missing for those responders' record. Okay, so this is called as missing data. The next one is data remediation. Data remediation means the issue in data quality need to be remediated. So, we saw two issues. First one is outliers and second one is missing data. Isn't it? Those two should be remediated. Okay, the right amount of efficiency to be achieved in learning activity, then only we can remediate those issues. The first problem is outlier, isn't it? So, the outlier can be remediated by proper sampling technique. Proper sampling technique. Because if the data is collected by humans, then human errors may be happen and uh, by using the checks and balance, we can remediate those outliers, right? When come to missing data, the proper remedial steps we need to take. For example, when come to the polling result prediction, we need to change the queries so that the people may answer for our question. Required answer may be achieved, right? So the first one is handling outliers. Outliers are the data elements abnormally high value or abnormally low, low value. That is the different value that impact the prediction accuracy. Okay, especially in the regression model. Right. So, we have to remediate the outliers. Once the outliers are identified, then the decision has to be taken to alter those outlier values to alter those outliers values. Sometimes the outliers are natural. Okay. So the real value is outlier means very high, abnormally high or low value. That means the value of data element is surprisingly high or low because of valid reason. If it, the reason is valid reason, then we should not alter the value. So if the outlier is because of error, then 
there are three different methods first one is remove the out layer imputation and third one is copying when come to remove out layer the number of records which out layer is not many that is very few records are having missing values then we can simply remove those attributes that is remove those records remove those records okay that may not cause any problem in our output and second one is imputation so imputation means assign the out layer values with respect to mean or median or mode okay the missing values may be re replaced by mean value or median value or mode value okay the value of most similar data element may also be used for imputation right so in the place of out layer we can replace any of these values that is imputation and next one is copying here the values light lies outside the 1.5 times of iq or limit okay then that may be replaced by either 5th percentile or 95th percentile for example this is our minimum and this is our maximum this is our data limit suppose the data lies here then this data will be placed in this area if the data that is out layer lies here this may be placed in this area okay that is upper 95 percent or lower 5 percent suppose if the out layer values are very high okay so in the in the sample set more number of out layers are there that is if there are significant number of out layers then that should be treated separately in statistical model okay so here the entire data will be divided into normal data and out layer data two sets we have taken separately and those two set should be treated differently okay so in this case the group should treat two different groups okay the model should be built for both the group the training model should build for both the groups and then the output can be combined okay the normal data and out layer data output will be combined together then we will get the original output the second one is handling missing values Okay, missing value means in the data set one or more data elements may have missing values in multiple records, in multiple records. Okay, what is the reasons for this missing value? First one is omission on part of surveyor, so by the surveyor itself. And second one is the person who is collecting the sample data. And third one by the responder who is not willing to respond for that questionnaire or the responder cannot understand the questionnaire but that should provide the response because of not understanding they are not responding okay so these are the four important causes of uh, the missing values in the records okay it may happen that a specific questionnaire is not applicable for that person or object sometimes so with respect to the data collection because of this also missing values may be happen here also we are having three different uh, methods to handle the missing values first one is eliminate the records having a missing values of data elements okay if the records are very minimum we can simply eliminate those records and second one imputing the missing values and third one is estimate the missing values let us see the, those things one by one the first one is eliminate records having missing values of data elements okay suppose if the number of records are very minimum which is having the missing values that is within the tolerable limit then we can simply remove those records for our computation okay that is if the number of records are very minimum which is having missing value then simply we can remove those records for our computation no problem will occur but if the records are very high that is more number of records are having missing values then there is a problem will occur 
that will reduce the power of the model okay that will leads to uh, wrong prediction in our auto mpg data set when come to horsepower six records are having missing values okay out of 398 only six records are having missing values in horsepower so we can simply eliminate those records only the remaining records are taken for our training our model right so this is eliminating the missing values so the, these six records are not taken for our training model the next one is imputing missing value okay imputation is a method to assign a value to the data having missing value like outliers here also the missing value should be replaced with the, the mean or median or mode M mode is nothing but most frequently assigned values right when come to quality that is quantitative attribute quantitative attributes are used in a regression okay when come to quantitative attribute that is the numerical data we can use mean median or mode value in the place of missing but when come to qualitative attribute the mode will be used mode means most frequently occurred data okay mode will be assigned for the attribute missing value let us take our auto mpg data set horsepower is having six missing values that is six records are uh, missing the horsepower values so uh, here we can take the mean of other data elements the remaining data elements mean will be computed and that will be replaced in the six records so the mean is 104.47 okay so this will be replaced otherwise we can take mean or median for uh, the records based on the values remaining values another method is also there here the cylinder attribute is highly related to horsepower okay that means the increase in number of cylinders of your car that will automatically increase the horsepower of the car that is horsepower will also be increased when compared to the previous records the seven uh, that is four cylinder records are having 78.28 okay so whenever four cylinders are there we can replace the horsepower with 78.28 so the remaining also 78.28 78.28 will be replaced here when come to six cylinder the value will be 101.5 so here 101.5 will be replaced so with respect to other attribute the missing value will also be changed this is another method the next one is estimate missing values here if there are data points similar to one with the missing attribute value that may be replaced with the other similar record by using distance function okay for example we are having a student data set a student data set here a one student that is russian student whose age is 12 years and height is 5 year 5 feet but the weight of this student is missing weight is missing okay for example this is the first record okay now the weight should be replaced isn't it so we can take some other russian student some other russian student who is age is also 12 years and height is 5 feet 5 feet so his weight may be mentioned here this weight will be replaced the missing value of uh, the first record right so this student weight will be replaced with this student up to this we have seen the data quality and remediation from first unit to preparing to model that is the second chapter right so we have learned in this class the data quality and the data remediation if there is any problem in quality how to be remediated so when come to data remediation two important issues are there first one is outliers that is handling outliers and second one is handling missing values so in handling missing values we have seen eliminating records imputing missing values and estimate missing values in the next class we will see another important topic from first unit thank you